Hello, my beautiful Aries friends. How are you today? We are here for your you versus them reading, your feelings versus theirs. Okay, Aries, let's take a look and see. We've got here and now. Okay, so you're very much in the here and now in the relationship, yang energy. Both of you want to be leaders right now. There's there's almost too much yang energy. A change is in the wind. Both of you are itching for a change. So let's see what's happening here. Aries, this is really interesting. The devil, the devil you know, you feel like this person is a devil. Now, the devil energy is Capricorn, so they probably work really hard. You like that about them. You love this person. You very clearly love them. You see them as a person with whom you could build a legacy relationship. It's you like you really love them. This person is drives you crazy though. The devil card indicates that they have some really toxic behavior and you would really love nothing more than to be able to control that behavior. But alas, you cannot. Um, the Ten of Discs is really all about you really came into the relationship and you still feel as though it would be so nice if the two of you could have a beautiful home together, serenity, happiness, support, mutual support, um, the feeling that both of you are building something or working towards something, that there is a, a sense of a team, really strong team, because that's what a legacy marriage is. The Magician card indicates that you are trying to get this person, kind of coax them, kind of kind of in your own way manipulate the tools that you have to get them to come into a better way of being with you temperance that you're you're trying to moderate what you do you're trying to stay in a calmer state you're trying to go as my grandmother would have said through the back door to get to the front door <laughs> But the Nine of Discs says that you have a very, very strong feeling that with the Devil card that you may not be able to manifest this. You feel as though you have to swim across an ocean to do it and, you, and you're still, this is a single lady card, single lady, single gent card. So while you have high hopes for this, um, you know, it really shows that at the end of the day, the devil energy is flanking this that you may you may just not find it possible your person is very immature they're coming in as a page of cups while you're at the ace of cups level of love you know very sincere very genuine a very adult this is a person you know you you really know you have got, you're an angel in love quite literally but your person really has is not so experienced. The Page of Cups is sort of like the experience of a teenager. Karmic release. Your person really feels they love you, but it is an immature love. They feel as though they've done enough in the relationship because we have the hidden, the shadow self here. We have the Page, uh, the King of Cups reversed. They, in some way, have not really given you what you want. They, have, they love you very deeply, and yet they withhold that love from you. The Four of Cups, they, um, they constantly treat you and feel like, oh, brother, here we go again. This is very childish energy. They just want to have fun, la la la. They want to do what they want. They don't have to. They don't want to have to be responsible, and they wear a false mask. So that is, I, I see that as pretty problematic for for those of you for whom this resonates. If this isn't your reading, please be sure. Do not torture yourself. Don't make it yours. Go to your rising, um, your rising moon or Venus signs but I'm getting a really big disconnect here. The Sun card, when things are great between you, they are marvelous. But this person is hoping for transformation, but they're not doing anything else at all. They, where you're really willing to do the work, this person is like, I would rather release this than to go through anything that's too complicated. You know, this is a card of transformation. It, it, it's sort of like the death card. So it's, um, 
they just feel as though if they can't please you, if you aren't all happy-go-lucky and golly gee, you're so fabulous, if you don't stroke their ego because of the immaturity, they do have an inner hidden strength, but they don't really give it to the relationship. I'm getting with the page of cup, I mean the king of cups here again reversed, withholding emotions, because when it's in the upright, the king doesn't speak about their emotions, but they show their emotions. But here we have somebody who is really withholding. And it, this bird looks kind of mean, right? I mean, it, uh, it looks, it's an eagle, which is a beautiful bird. But this eagle looks like, oh, I'm not giving you what you want. Forget it. You know, if I can't just la 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 be myself and it doesn't matter what happens in the relationship, this person also tells a lot of lies. That's a false mask. It's a very difficult card. The fact that they they also try... Now, they're very attracted to you. The Sun card's the happiest card in the deck. You're probably the best lover that they've ever had. You're the most fun that they've ever been, you know. You're the most fun person in terms of relationships with whom they have ever experienced in love. But they're not giving you credit for that. Your mutual energy is both of you want a victory. But the problem with victory is when there's a winner, there's a loser. And I do get the, the passion between the two of you is great. Um, you do like to be a public couple. When that works, it works. I'm also getting that the relationship is stagnant right now. It's not moving forward. It's not moving backwards. And look at the two cards here. I mean, both of you want to get married. And yet, there's your feelings Aries are much more well grounded your feelings are I would say a you know mature your feelings make sense so but the Hierophant card is both of you are very traditional both of you find that when things are good they're great but there's just a lot of your person is very discordant so let's see what, let's look at this, twin flame messages. Why is your person so unable to come to the table? Because it looks like you're very capable of it, Aries, and your person is not. So why is the, uh, what's the message from the Page of Cups here for, for you from your person? What is the message that they would say to you if they had the courage to say it? Because they don't have the courage. A lot of false masks. You are special to me, even though I told you otherwise. Wow. So they have given you some really harsh words. They have been harsh with you at times. They have really not expressed their true love towards you, which is a problem. The false mask. Okay. You're the only person who truly gets me. Oh, man. They do think that you know them. They do feel as though you know them through and through. I miss the feel of you next to me. So with this, it looks like you're fighting. I mean, really, to be honest, it really looks like you're having this passive aggressive, low level fighting, pretending not to fight, but yet not getting along, sleeping in the same bed and like not really being close. My family, oh, my family upbringing and, um, my family and upbringing are a bigger factor than I realized. There we go. The hidden self. That's also they got stunted in their growth emotionally. Not able to share emotions. Why is this per yeah, why does this person act bored? Ah, I was reminded of your scent recently, but they didn't tell you that. They don't really say very many nice things to you. They really don't. This person, I think, has a tendency to, yeah, I, I just got sidetracked. Well, that's not very helpful. All right, so let's see what we have from this oracle. Things have to change, and there is a change in the wind. I feel as though, Aries, that I don't think that you would break up with this person anytime soon. I feel as though you're going to hang in there and you're going to see if this can work. I feel as though your person, though, is acting like a sulking child and they're not doing anything really helpful for this relationship. And if they continue the behavior, you will just end the relationship. Both of you want to be married, but there's no progress. Retreat. Time alone in nature will help you recharge. 
So I'm gonna just pull your cards for you. If it applies to both of you, I'll put it down in the mutual energy. But right now you need to just, you know, you need to pull back from this person. Forgiveness, forgiving yourself Aries with, uh, or another will help you move forward. So, but you know, I have to say I'm not fond of that. It's fine to forgive somebody, but they also have to show they can't be wearing a false mask. So that it's fine to forgive, but you have to, they have to be accountable. All right, what else? Decision. It's time to decide about this relationship. So I do think that if this person doesn't come around and doesn't live up to the potential, I just feel as though you are going to go your separate ways because I see it starts out here, the devil energy, it's toxic. You know it is. You know all about this person. It even says here, you know, that you're the only person who really knows them. Um, but if you will use your intuition, you already know the answer you seek. So it does tell us that you know what the answer is. It This is a very tough spot to be in, Aries. Um, be gentle on yourself. I do think COVID has really come into play a lot. Everybody's sequestered at home. So if you live with this person, I think it is really exacerbating the situation. And both of you want the same things. You want exactly the same things. And yet you're stranded because one person is so far behind the other in their emotional development that it's tough. Aries, tough week. I hope next week is better. If this did not resonate with you, please check again. Like I said, your uh, moon rising and Venus signs. Sending you love from Chicago. Send some back and tell me where you're from.